How's it going guys? So today I'm trying something a little bit new. Uh, I usually never do this, but I'm going to try to just uh, throughout the day log what it's like to use the Galaxy S10. So this is my first day using it. Last night I unboxed it and I just set everything up, but beyond that, really, I didn't do much. I still haven't set up a lot of things. Uh, I only had a few hours and I had to go to bed. So uh, I'm going to be setting up things I need along the way. I'm also going to be using it as I do. And uh, so here it is, here's the phone. I've gotten a decent amount set up for myself. You know, uh, I got uh, my another widget, the Google widget there. Uh, downloaded a few apps, customized it the way I wanted. I uh, reduced that grid size uh, the, so the icons look like they're normal now, not like those weird, just massive, massive icons. And uh, right now, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be headed to Best Buy uh, to pick up a the LED case. So there's an LED case, which I'm not sure how it works, so it'll be interesting to see. I wanted that, but it's just not available near me. So uh, it's a couple of miles, you know, it's about half an hour away. So I will be uh, driving over and picking that up. And uh, just a report of right now I'm at 77%, 10.53. I started the morning at about 7.30, uh, but I, the minute I took the phone off the uh, wireless charger that I charged on, uh, I saw that there was an update, a software update. So what I did was I turned, I let it update. I put it back on the uh, charger and I picked it back up at eight o'clock. And then I headed to the gym where uh, usually while I'm uh, working out, doing cardio, I just uh, watch a little bit of Netflix. So uh, let me just go see the battery if I can show you guys that. There we go. All right, so I have 40 minutes of Netflix, an hour and 34 minutes of Apple Music, Instagram, YouTube, blah, 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 that's it. Uh, nothing too much yet, and it is at 77%. I don't know. Yesterday, I was very impressed with the battery life. Today, we'll see. So, uh, right now, I'm going to head out. We're going to go on, and uh, throughout the day, I'm going to try and see what it's like and update you and fill you guys in as we go along. All right, guys. So, I'm in the car. I will be using the S10 to um, guide myself. Uh, I've already p synced up the Bluetooth in my car, so I'm going to be streaming music as well. So basically everything I do with my iPhone. Uh, so as you guys know, it is, I have started using this in my primary phone, no iPhone. So, uh, the route is set. It is 27 minutes from here and, uh, let's get started. Let me put this up. All right, there we go. All set up, ready to go. I'm sorry about the very horrible glare but uh, let's head out to best buy all right so i just made it to the best buy as you guys can see and uh i actually did have a pretty big issue with the phone on the way so as you guys can see it just says searching for gps and uh basically five miles into the drive it, it started doing this and the rest of the way it didn't tell me the way luckily i had uh, this phone the backup iphone that i have with me uh, and I knew the way well enough uh, to not worry about it, but still this is concerning because if this is the only phone I had and I was going somewhere where I did not know how to get there, uh, this would have been a little bit uh, frustrating. So uh, I don't know, this is uh, not the first time it's happening on Samsung devices for me. Uh, my S9, S8, they all did the same thing and I don't know why. I mean, sometimes, yeah, GPS does have problems even on my iPhone, but the Samsung seem to be the worst, like they never work. And the first time I try this, same thing happening. So um, I'm going to see what, what I, I don't know what to do about it. Uh, I will uh, do the same thing when I go back. I will put the GPS on. Let's see what it does. Uh, it is at 69% charge now at uh, 11.25 a.m. But uh, nonetheless, let's go inside and pick up that uh, brand new case. All right, so LED back cover acquired. Uh, so it was pretty easy, in and out in like five minutes now to make the uh, drive back home. And I'm going to test out the, um, the GPS thing again. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but uh, let's see. Uh, I will be making a video on this. Uh, this case is supposed to light up. I don't know how it's gonna work, how what it's all, what it's all about, but uh, should be interesting to see. Uh, I didn't do my research on it on purpose because I kind of want to be surprised by it and see what it's all about. Uh, interesting case, interesting device. Had to drive up 25 miles to find it, but uh, it is sure as hell better than this weirdo silicone case, which is 100% going back because it is just really bad quality for $30. I can't believe how uh, poor it is. I mean, the the I mean, I would say that the quality is okay, but the Fin fit and finish and just the product final product is not that nice uh it should be worth 10 bucks as i said not 30. 
Uh, all right, that being said, let's go back home and just a battery update again, 68% at 1134 AM. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so I have to go to another destination. And again, same thing. What happened was for about five miles or so, it was perfect, you know, no issues. It was guiding me perfectly. But at that point, suddenly just it's like searching for GPS and it goes crazy and it never uh, locks onto my position again. And um, really, there's nothing I can do about it. While I'm driving, it's impossible for me to restart the phone or, uh, you know, just cancel out or try anything. So it's very frustrating. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I still am not home. I have uh, I had this one stop to make. So on the way back home, what I'm going to do is before I go, I'm going to restart the phone, just cycle airplane mode, do all that. And hopefully that should solve the issue. I don't know, but uh, I am not trusting this phone as my GPS for sure. Um, I am very glad that I did bring along the iPhone that I'm filming this on because uh, I would have been a little bit stuck if I didn't uh, have one of a uh, backup along. So very frustrating uh, first day into Samsung usership. This is becoming annoying to me. Uh, but let's see, maybe it's just kind of a random thing. Uh, I, I don't know because I've had the same issue before, as I said. So uh, let's just see. All right, guys. So I restarted the phone. I'm on my way back home now. Uh, so I'm going to see what it does. I am not going to use it as my primary uh, thing right now. So I do have the iPhone set up uh, with the maps, but this is going to be running side by side. And I'm going to keep paying attention and seeing what happens. I did restart the phone, as I said. Uh, so let's... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I have no idea what's going on. Alright guys, so I have made it back home and uh, it was weird. So about from the start to 75% of the trip, the GPS worked just fine. Then about at 75%, it completely just stopped working. And then when I was like almost home, 95% there, it started to work again. So uh, very inconsistent and spotty results there. The iPhone never had any issues. I just don't know what's going on. It's hard to kind of tell. Uh, for reference, the phone is at 44%, uh, 12.57, so 1 p.m. Uh, not as well as I hoped, but it was doing maps and stuff. So I can understand the battery not uh, being up higher than it is. All right, so uh, I'm going to go on about my day and see what the battery life does for me as I go on. All right, so it is 3.50 p.m. now. Uh, I went out, ran a few more errands, uh, just got some more stuff done, and I did not, I left my iPhone at home after I went for lunch. Uh, so I actually drained the battery down to 20 something, 22%. And then I had this uh, wireless portable charger thingy. It, it was, it's okay, but not the greatest thing in the world. Um, I used it to try to charge it back up. But honestly, all it did was kind of slow down the charge from, uh, you know, it, it didn't really charge the phone back up. It just kind of slowed down the discharge. So uh, I ended up having about 22% when I came back about 10 minutes ago. Plugged it in uh, now at 34%. Uh, hour 12 minutes still is charged. I don't know if uh, battery life is going to be like this every day, but I did kind of do a lot of intense stuff today with the maps and everything and just setting everything up as well. I've been, I'm still setting things up. So... Uh, email and all that was a big part that I did today. So I'm not sure if it's just going to be uh, the single scenario here or it's going to be like this every day. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to keep testing. And at some point I'm also going to try to turn off this always on display to see uh, if the battery life really does get affected by that. But so far so good. The only big issue I've had all day was the maps thing, you know, not working right. Luckily I had a backup phone so I didn't really worry about it too much. Uh, one more thing I am noticing is that there are so many notifications that Android system gives you. It's so weird. Like every time I connect to uh, a Bluetooth device, it gives me a pop-up to tell me something, you know, it's just so many random pop-ups. Um, if I'm going somewhere, if I do something, there's so many random system pop-ups. Every time one comes up, I try to uh, silence it like so that it doesn't come back anymore, but I still keep getting them again and again. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, I think that's just the way Android is. You really can't do much about that. I try to disable a few of them. Some things you can't disable at all, which is annoying. Uh, I also got, I think, what was kind of like an ad. I don't know if it's an ad or sponsor or something from the dialer, which kind of was freaky. You couldn't even disable that. I'm not sure what it was. I, I wish I would have taken a screenshot, but I didn't. Uh, and uh, what else update? So I did set up Samsung Pay as well. Oh, and interesting thing also that happened is I 
uh, registered for the Samsung Galaxy Buds. You know, I because I bought it from Best Buy, you had to go through the shop Samsung app and do it. I got it registered, but unfortunately, it's looking like it's going to ship in May, the middle of May. So it's two months away, which is ridiculous. I don't even know. Uh, that's kind of crazy. I wish it didn't take that much time. Uh, I don't know what to do. I might just buy f some while I'm waiting and sell these ones when they get here. I'm not sure what I'll do, but we'll see uh, as time comes because they're back ordered anyways. Right now, you can't buy them anywhere. Uh, they're all back ordered till April at least. Uh, and now the app is telling me I'm going to get mine in May. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I'll still be using the S10 in May. So it'll be interesting to see that. But for right now, uh, I'm going to start editing a video and the phone is in charge. Once it's done, I have to film one more video with the LED uh, back cover that I just bought earlier today. And uh, that's the plan for right now. And I'll keep you guys updated as the day goes on. All right guys, so an update. So it's 4.54, so about five o'clock. Uh, I unplugged the Pope phone about half an hour ago with 74% uh, charge. It's 71 now. I've been using Twitter and stuff for a little bit, so uh, understandable. So why I'm actually filming this update is because uh, I just upload, I just like finished uploading a video with all the information and stuff, and I made a thumbnail for it. Now, generally, this thumbnail, what I'll do is I uh, make it on the computer, airdrop it to an iPhone, uh, and then I just post it on Instagram from there to kind of let people know that I've posted a new video. Now with the uh, f with the Samsung, I can't airdrop it. So now uh, this is the point where I'm gonna start looking for another solution. I think the easiest would be to just upload it to Google Photos and uh, kind of just take it from there, Simple simplify that. But uh, I don't know, it just seems like too many steps. Uh, connecting it via a, uh, you know, just connecting the phone via cable doesn't make sense either. I could use a service like Discord or I could send it via like WhatsApp or something. I don't know. I could do something like that, but uh, at the end of the day, as I'm saying, a lot of people don't understand why I like uh, the ecosystem so much. This is one of the big reasons because stuff like this. So I took this photo on my phone. So what I do is I take the photo on the iPhone. Uh, from the phone, I send it over to the computer via AirDrop, make this thumbnail, and then send it right back. And I don't have to use any wires, no nothing. Uh, and it's done. Whereas with these phones, it's not as simple with the uh, Android phones because you have to come up with alternate solutions. Now, there's nothing, uh, you know, that's a big issue. But again, for creativity and just for that workflow, you guys can see how uh, how useful it is just to have AirDrop. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm probably just gonna use Google Photos now because I don't want to waste time. And later today, I will try to think. Uh, come up with some different solutions and if you guys do have recommendations on what you use to transfer like stuff quickly between the phones I don't want a long stage process. I just want something that's immediate and quick uh, That would be great really appreciate it. So uh, let me know you guys All right guys, so I uploaded it to Google Photos. So uh, another problem I just realized is once you do that uh, the photo does show up on Google Photos immediately. You don't have to do anything, so it does show up. But the problem is that you can't directly upload to Instagram from here. You have to have one more step, which is you have to save to device. And then only will, when you upload, when you go to Instagram, hang on, let me just show you real quick. Uh, when you go to Instagram, uh, it will only show you the device is uh, photo camera roll. So the camera roll only had these two. So only when I saved it offline did this show up. Google Photos just doesn't show up. Uh, and I can select, you know, I can do gallery. I can do anything and you just can't find Google Photos here. You have to have the photo saved onto your phone's uh, storage, which uh, it's just a little bit of a pain. So you guys see uh, the situation I'm dealing with. So if you guys do have a solution, I would really recommend <clears throat> So if you guys do have a solution, I would really appreciate that. All right, I hate to keep doing this, but here's uh, another issue that I just realized. So this is how I make my post. I've made the, uh, you know, I just made a catchy little caption over there and just all this link in the bio. And when I when I typed link in the bio, I just realized that the link in the bio, I uh, to put this link into the bio, I need to copy it from somewhere. And usually what I do is I, uh, in my notes, right, hang on, let me show you. Uh, in my notes, when I upload the video, I just uh, make a note like this saying trying out Android for the first time. I have the link. And because, uh, you know, the way that these, uh, uh, because of the way just this ecosystem works, what happens is I have the same note available to me on uh, any iPhone that's registered to my name. So I can just go hang on. 
uh, and I'm sorry, I just don't want to show you all the notes. So I can just go in there and it's right here. So what I can do is copy from right here, uh, go to Instagram, paste it. But for Google, for this, I'm now going to have to find another software solution that's going to force me to use another uh, app or something to copy it over. So there's a few. I mean, that, that notes is pretty simple. You can have uh, a few different apps for that. But again, I'm just saying when it comes to Apple, you get all this stuff inbuilt into your phones and into the computer so you don't have to uh, repeatedly download stuff. With Android, every single thing you have to download uh, a different app, a different thing for, and it's not inbuilt into the system. And that's just because there's so many OEMs and different types of uh, stuff going on there. But with Apple, since it's just one manufacturer, it's so easy to do all this. So this kind of uh, further proves my point in a very real life situation uh, as to how uh, I really benefit from using iPhones and a Mac. All right, sit rep. So it is 9.30, almost 9.30, and uh, I'm wrapping up the day. Uh, I just finished editing uh, a video, the S10 unboxing. I'm uploading it to YouTube now. Um, so the Galaxy S10 is at 40% now, uh, 9.26. So I didn't have to charge it again after I topped it up to uh, that 75% or so. Uh, I have been using uh, Twitter and Instagram consistently after that, so um, the battery life kind of does make sense to me. I'm not surprised that it's down to 40. And all in all, I think my first day with the phone was not too bad. Uh, the, one of the biggest issues I had was, uh, besides the Maps thing, was Apple Music is try a little bit buggy uh, with Android now. That's something that I know uh, is not anything that's wrong with the phone. It's just my uh, experience with a Android that's kind of being a little bit... Uh, on the flip-flop, so, honestly though, it's just not worth getting another music service just for this one phone and trying to transfer everything over, you know, download all the songs again, create those new playlists. So uh, I'm going to stick it out, go through the bugs uh, and deal with it as it comes. Everything else pretty good, you know, wireless, you know, headphones, Bluetooth, everything that just works perfectly fine. No differences in that terms. Uh, the one thing that I do kind of find annoying is that uh, there is no uh, volume alert kind of uh, slider or vibrate button. So every time I want to change it, I have to go through and uh, hit the power button and then change it by, uh, you know, I have to tap this. No, I have to tap, uh, come on. So what I have to do is I have to, yeah, scroll it down and then do that and then that's so it's a little bit annoying now uh with the iphone it's just so simple you get it's just one alert slider and you're good to go so that is one thing i really am missing uh, i really like that about the oneplus as well and i really wish more android phones would do that including the galaxy s10 that being said i think this day comes to an end and my first day has been pretty positive with the phone. Let me know what you guys think about it. If any of you have switched over to uh, Android, what was your first day with the phone like? For me, it's been pretty good. Battery life has been a little bit below average than what I expected. However, it is fine since I, I did spend a bit of time today setting up new emails and they were singing a lot. So I think that uh, the battery drain was a little bit justified. Overall, uh, the performance has been excellent. I haven't had any stutters or lags. The only bugs I had were with the Apple Music app and besides that, nothing that great. Uh, again, one more thing that I do wanna bring up, notifications. I'm getting so many annoying Android notifications about random stuff. You know, there was one thing there's this one Google reminder where it was it went through my email, I guess, and found this one thing due for 20th of March, which I already did like a week ago. And whenever I try to get rid of it, I just clear the notification and it keeps coming back after like 30 minutes or an hour. And that kind of uh, thing bugs me about Android. It doesn't only happen on this phone. It's happened on so many other phones I've had. So that's something I'm still getting used to. Bixby is still here. Uh, I still do hit the Bixby button by accident when I mean to hit volume down, which is super annoying. Uh, and of course, Bixby's not. There you go. Shows up suddenly. I. It's again just uh, learning curves. As I'm pretty sure, as I keep using it, my muscle memory will develop to not hit that Bixby button and go a little bit uh, further top to hit the volume down button. But that's it for this one, guys. This was a very different video I've done. I'm not sure what the quality is gonna be like. I'm not sure if it's just gonna be a lot of rambling about the same things, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any recommendations for me, any tips, 
any, any constructive criticism or feedback you'd like to give me, please feel free to do so down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you would follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. I have the links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.